Welcome to another vlog from Texas. I have already done one that was half in Texas and half in Florida. I'll link that above now. This one happens to be from San Antonio, which is the next and final stop on my road trip. San Antonio is only a three and a half hour drive from Houston, and it happens to be the most visited city in all of Texas. And not only that, it is also the most rapidly expanding city in all of Texas. I have started my journey at the Alamo, which is the most popular tourist attraction here and the Alamo is basically a mission to mark Texan independence from Mexico in 1836. I'm gonna take you around here, we'll uh, walk around the hotel where I'm staying which is absolutely beautiful and then we're gonna do a little nature activity, you'll see what I mean in a little bit and I'm also really curious to see the nighttime here in San Antonio which is meant to be quite nice, charming with a lot of lights and a river. So yeah, final stop on my US road trip, I hope it's a good one and I hope you guys enjoy it. church of the Alamo became famous in 1836 and whoever controlled it pretty much controlled all of Texas but it was established more than a hundred years earlier in the early 18th century so when people were defending the Alamo in the battle of 1836 this is the well that would provide them with water So I think what I'm going to do now is go see the cathedral, uh, which I've been really curious about. It was founded in 1731 and it's the oldest continuously functioning religious community in all of Texas. Not too far away from San Antonio's downtown, you will find the famous Japanese gardens. And I think that part of the reason they're so famous is because they're actually built on an old abandoned limestone quarry. In the very early 1900s, they were first designed to beautify the area. But then when Pearl Harbor happened and Americans no longer wanted to be associated with Japan, this was renamed the Chinese Tea Gardens. Obviously, it's still the same design and it's still the same features. It is very Japanese, but on the front, you will still read Chinese Tea Gardens. I am finding this experience very peaceful and relaxing. In Monaco, there is a Japanese garden, but it is about a tenth of the size of this one. Here, there is just a lot more features and a lot more to look at. And everywhere you go, you really just want to take pictures.
The most popular activity in the evenings here is the river walk, which is really charming. You basically walk along the river, it's lined with restaurants, with bars, dessert places, smoothie places, and then on the river you have these little boats that take tourists around, you have a guide on there, so it's all really quaint and quirky and charming. I think that the central part of San Antonio being the river walk and the surrounding area is really really nice. Uh, you definitely get to see the different kinds of architecture that San Antonio is so known for and the parts that are outside of the central area are a little bit less worth seeing for me anyway just because they're a little bit less refined and I don't know it just feels like you learn less about San Antonio itself in those bits but over here I'm definitely getting a feel for why people come here and why San Antonio is as famous as it is. Well, as I'm walking through nighttime San Antonio, I'm realizing that this vlog has to unfortunately come to an end. Short and sweet, thank you for watching, thank you for sticking around. If you're new, thank you so much for subscribing, for commenting, for liking. If you watch every single one of my vlogs, I am so, so, so grateful for your support. Keep smiling, stay positive, and I'll see you next time.